Uh, actually, it came very late. Um, I was basically happy to stay at home and enjoy my family. And uh, at the beginning of the season, I had uh, the chance to test this new car, electric car. So the curiosity pushed me to test the car. And uh, I actually was happy to, to go and drive the car. Once driven the car, I, I actually figured out that uh, it was uh, probably a good chance to do something different on today's motorsport. Uh, a new racing series, which uh, it's part of the motorsport, but it's totally different from the actual uh, motorsport activities or existing motorsport activities at a high level. So um, I thought that was uh, a good opportunity to start something new and uh, especially as a, a team owner. Uh, and eventually then, uh, obviously, uh, I thought that, that the best way to help the team in, in recover the time loss compared to other teams which uh, started this project uh, much earlier than us was uh, to me to drive the car and actually give, you, give the, the team the right uh, technical direction. So that's the reason why I'm both driver and team owner. So. It all came basically at the end of uh, March. Uh, we started thinking about this project, but the project only started in end of uh, May, so very, very, very late. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess it's quite a unique situation. We don't really see this in top-line motorsport anymore, uh, where we have a driver who also owns the team and vice versa, also drives that car as well. Are you a little bit worried that perhaps there might be a point where it gets a little bit too much having to manage the team Monday to Friday and then racing the car on Saturday or Sunday? It's a big responsibility, yes. I know it is. It's uh, it's quite tough for me. Fortunately, I've got people around me um, helping me out with the team on the technical side, on the sporting side. So obviously, I'm not doing everything, but uh, being involved as a driver and as well as a team owner is not easy. It's not easy at all because obviously I need to look after the team on every side. As well, when it's time to deliver, then uh, I have to deliver. So <laughs> it's a quite um, compromising thing. Very challenging, but uh, I think it's it's worth uh, it's worth to try. So um, let's see how it goes. And the advantage, I suppose, is also if you have a bad day, you only are responsible to yourself, which is pretty good. Can you tell yourself off? Uh, of course, yes. Uh, of course, I know that if something goes wrong and I do bad, it's obviously my responsibility, and uh, I am the one to blame. So for sure. Uh, I am in the position that I have to get it right. If I get it wrong, well, at the end of the race, uh, I will be the one to blame and uh, will be responsible for the bad result. But in life, uh, I always believe in challenge, and this is a big challenge, and uh, I'm, I've never been scared of challenge. So let's, uh, let's go and get it. <laughs> and Formula E is something we haven't seen in a while in respect to the fact that it's entirely new. It's an entirely new concept of racing and it's an entirely new top-tier racing series. Are you finding that it's particularly different to other forms of motorsport in that respect because it started with a, such a blank sheet? Of course, yes. It's a total different way of racing. Uh, it's, as I say, uh, a brand new series in the motorsport, which is uh, also very different from the actual uh, very well-known series. Uh, and this was one of the reasons why I entered it, because uh, I strongly believe in the concept, I strongly believe in the technology which involves this series and is based on, I think it's a big challenge for everyone, but it's worthwhile taking it because uh, it's very futuristic. I, I really believe that the te technology that we are going to work with and technology that we are going to develop through the years uh, are going to have a big impact on everyday life because uh, electric car batteries are becoming more and more important on city cars and electric cars that we drive on, on, on roads. So I think this is a way to promote this art of new concept, living concept, and it's also a way to promote that you can raise and be ecological as much as you can. 
Few people have experienced driving uh, an electric car, let alone an electric racing car. I mean, you've spent many, many years inside a, a very loud and very fast world of Formula One. What was it like when you first stepped into this car and experienced what you experienced the first time you drove a Formula E car? Uh, I tell you, the feeling was strange because when I first sat in the car, the car, the cockpit, everything is exactly like an F1 car. So for me, it was just like I was getting back behind the wheel, just like it was the day before I left from one. So as soon as I sat down, I felt comfortable. The negative thing was that while I was running out of, of the pit, I, I couldn't hear the noise. So it was a total different atmosphere inside and then the more I was driving the more difference I was I was finding because obviously the noise the engine the rev very very different and the way of driving it's a total different concept uh, which honestly has nothing to do with what uh, I have been doing for so many years in F1 uh, but um, the F1 experience is, is helping me out in understanding things and um, dealing with this new technology so very often people try to compare Formula 1 with Formula E you can't compare that there are two different worlds which are always parallel and will never meet one is the pen of, of uh, the, the motorsport on um, thermic engine and this one is the pinnacle of, of the motorsport with electric engine and batteries car. So these are two different concepts which we cannot compare. There are many things similar, but we race in a different circuit, in a different way, in a different concept. So not possible to compare. And before we turn our attention to the first round itself, which is coming up extremely uh, quickly, how do you see, I mean, your involvement as a team and a driver in the long term? Because as it stands, there's still a TBC round on the calendar that hasn't been decided and still at least one seat up for grabs in the grip. Do you see this as a, as a long-term commitment for yourself? So far, yes. We, our, our commitment is uh, from three to five years, depending obviously on how the series will do. So far, we've been doing pretty well. Uh, even though there are still some uh, gray areas which, which needs to be cleared. Don't forget that it's a very important series, very complicated, uh, which is starting up. So obviously we will found problems, but eventually we will have to solve the problem. I think it will be very important the first race in order to understand what is the impact of these new racing concepts towards the fans uh, and as well towards uh, the show. This is, uh, this is fundamental to, to understand if the series is right and is doing well. If not, it's a starting series, so we can always trim rules, concept, and understand what we need in order to attract people. But the series itself, the concept of uh, ecologic raising, I found it uh, a great, great uh, stuff. And the fact that we are raising in the cities, this is another plus big plus for the series because you don't have to make people travel and go to the circuit. You basically meet the people at their homes. So this is, a, this is something very, very important. Next weekend is that first round of Formula E over in Beijing. Uh, keep in mind there was also the test in Donington with uh, yourself and all the other teams uh, qualified for Formula E for this season. What, what are your expectations, uh, I guess, during and after this first round in Beijing of Formula E? Um, honestly talking, we, we were the last team to join the series. We are probably between six and eight months behind the others in terms of uh, uh, starting this new project. But we, we managed to catch up quite a lot uh, through the testing. I can't say we are perfectly ready. I can say we go, we, we're ready to go, we are all set, but I can't say we, we know everything about what we want to know uh, about the car. So I can set my team at the moment comfortably in the top four teams, yes. I wish I had a bit more time in order to understand and have a bit more time to understand the data and the systems and the numbers all linked to the batteries and the engine. Because racing in this series is not all about how quick you go, but it's all about 
how to manage the energy. And this will be very tricky for all teams. And it's hard at the moment to say who is going to win or who is going to do well because it's such a different way of racing that it's not all about uh, who, who is going to be the quickest. It's all about who is going to be the best team to manage driver, batteries, and uh, energy. This is uh, really the key. So we've, we've been working very hard. We more or less have an idea, but obviously we're going to race on a completely brand new environment, on a third circuit which no one knows. So uh, we have to recalculate everything again on the base of our testing. So it's not going to be easy for everyone.